Okay, first of all, apologies if you can hear music in the background, but there's a beer festival happening along my street, and they don't seem to know how to keep the music, you know, on the down low, other than having it fucking blasting. Anyway, so somehow I did manage to miss this, because again, it wasn't exactly front page news and that, and uh, I didn't get notified about it on Twitter or Facebook until today, but anyway, this is a message from a Big Finish boss concerning uh, the website, so, yeah, or first chairman, I should say, so, let's just read it out and we'll discuss it as we go along, so, over the past 18 months, Big Finish have undergone a transformation change, we have included several new systems which control essential business and functions of Big Finish. These systems, which include stock control, dispatch and shipping, tracking and payment gateways, and accounting, email and customer service tools, replace all the software that had reached the end of its life. Now, when it says reach the end of its life, it's more likely like support, as in like security updates and stuff like that. Which, you know, is important. Like, that's like uh, one of the only reasons really why uh, businesses will upgrade their versions of Windows when basically support ends by Microsoft because, you know, they won't get security updates anymore. Security is very important to any business. So, yeah, I can understand that perfectly well. So it says here, they were vital upgrading here to ensure that we could fulfil orders to our customers and all new behind-the-scenes systems have been tested for many months and are working seamlessly. Okay, the behind-the-scenes stuff is. Uh, website isn't, though. Uh, the final action of this transformation was rolling out the new Big Finish, uh, rolling out the new Shopfront, the Big Finish website and app. Unfortunately, it is very clear that there are a number of mistakes that are being made. In particular, the migration of customer data has not gone as planned. I'll see. I had to change my password for no reason. Because uh, it, it just won't let me in. I don't know why. But, you know, that's the least of the worries. And that's uh, people's purchases going missing and that. The interface being confusing to navigate and... Things are not showing up when they should be, but anyway. Uh, where was I? And uh, browsing experience of the website and app is providing is proving to be a frustration. Understatement, but yes. I sincerely apologise to everyone who has encountered difficulties access- accessing their purchase library since the relaunch, or who feels let down how we have managed the process. Okay. I know from seeing many messages coming in via email and social media that these updates are a cause of wor- are a cause of worry and concern to many listeners. I would like to reassure each and every customer that no purchase will be lost and all their data is safe. Uh, well, I don't know, Big Finish. I don't know about that because people were reporting that their purchases you know, were lost now. They can be, you know, they should be reinstated, but to say that they haven't been lost, well, you know, if they can't access them, then they are to them. So saying that they're not, it, not the same thing. You know, not the same thing. But anyway, we'll, we'll go on. Uh, and, and data being safe? Mm. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. And we are committed to improve the functionality and accessibility and reliability of the website, whatever it takes. If you have not yet had a chance to do so, I would urge you to read the new How-Tos page to explain how to reset your password and update address on the information the first time you visit the site. So, so is this just a new thing with the website where you have to update your password? Okay, I mean, yeah, least of the worries then, it mean, obviously it means, you know, greater security and that, less likely to get hacked, but, yeah, odd. Because odd, like, when other companies update their website, generally, you know, the passwords are the same. 
and everything worked with this. Again, don't know why. Uh, what was I at? Let's say. Uh, we do not carry across any of these details in the upgrade requirements of the data uh, as a protection law. It is not possible to browse your purchase items of an order of new releases without completing these steps. The fact that there needs to be a fucking how-to page, though. Like, just imagine it. Like, imagine you go on HMV, Amazon, Xavi, or wherever else, and you need to go to a how-to page in order to access your bloody account, which you've been doing for years without any issue. Just like, this is just a shit show, this. Uh, blah, blah. The team will be... The team will keep updating the work in progress page with known issues and timetable for improvements. Again, you know, I mean, this is good that they are working on it. This is good that they're working on it. But, like, this should have been done before the website went up. Like, before you made these changes, that should have been done. Like, it should have... Like, seriously, this was not tested properly. And when I say tested, I mean real-world testing. Like, you needed to real do, you know, proper real-world testing with this. Because testing it... It seems like you've only tested it within your own systems. And it may work fine there. But, uh... You know, not the case in the real world, and there's some stuff on there, like, missing filters for your own purchases and everything, like, that shouldn't be in there. So, yeah. And also, like, the fact that you can only browse things in a random order, as it seems. But anyway, uh, as you might imagine, the Big Finish customer service team is currently... Uh, inundated with messages, but they will do their best to answer all queries. I thank you in advance for your patience and understanding and loyalty for sticking with us through this difficult period. I'll be honest, like this, you know, you're pushing it a lot with this to stick through this. I'll be honest. You know, because customer loyalty can only go so far. It can only go so far. And that. And you know. There are scu- there's a lot of scuff. That is exclusive to Big Finish's own website. But then again. There's also a lot of scuff that isn't. So. You know. Hey ho. But more and more. It, I've noticed more and more. Is becoming exclusive to Big Finish. Particularly because they have like. Limited CD releases. More and more. So it's like very narrow field. So it's not like people have much of a choice otherwise to go elsewhere with a lot of your particularly, you know, more recent releases. So, yeah. Finally, let me just reinstate how deeply sorry I am for the inconvenience so many of our loyal listeners have are experiencing at the moment. I completely recognise the very valid frustration. At least they're not brushing it off. At least they're not, you know, they're, they're actually, you know, taking into account to say, look, this is wrong, you need to fix it. You know, it's not one of those things where where a company is trying to brush it off and that. So, you know, but as I said, how long is it going to take to fin- fix all of these, you know? Like, to get back to where, like, the, the previous website wasn't perfect either, but like, you know, That needs to be the minimum bar we're at, and we're not, we're below then, so how long is it going to take for for that to be there? Uh, I am there's valid frustrations being expressing. I hope you can bear with us and try out most best situations to bring you the best website and app experience. Okay, let's have a look at the work in progress page. So, known issues, account logins. Uh, there have been reports, continuous account login issues, and the new app and website, yeah. Re- just reset your password. That's that's what worked for me. I could not get in until I reset my password. Um, which, see, it seems you have to on the new website. Access product libraries. Our development team are continuing to work in the migration 
effectively a missing uh, content issues as soon as possible. Full products libraries may not be being displayed on the website or app at this time. We are still working to address this. Uh, the Big Finish app, which I don't recommend you use. I just don't. Like, I don't need another app on my phone. Plus, like, the standard MP3s, they'll work on anything. Downloads not available. We have discovered that a number of digital releases are currently in a state, which makes them unavailable to download, even when visible in your product's library. We are currently reviewing this and amending requirements. Um, these include once in future special edition downloads updates. We have a fix for this. No one issue. Yeah. Thankfully, like I've already listened to that them as well, apart from the one that's yet to come out, the final one, the epilogue one. But... Uh, I've got them downloaded already. As I said, you know, worth keeping your big finishes, you know, on an external drive backed up somewhere, which is what I do. Missing address, SSUs. Shipping quotes. Gift card codes. Um... Sorting, filtering, make, making visual content. Here we go. This is a good one. Making visual content help identify releases more quickly and make the library feel more dramatic. Yeah, why did you get rid of that? Why did you get rid of the little uh, artwork and that, icons and that? So, thankfully, they are bringing that back. And the filtering system. Again, though, it doesn't... Like, all these things, you know, on here, navigation, web website search... All these things there, but it doesn't mention how long. How long is this going to actually take? You know? How long is this actually going to take? Because it does, you know, make me worried. It does make me worried. Um, yeah. So how long is this actually going to take? Hopefully they do fix it, but we'll see in due time. But yeah, there we go.